Welcome to step four of this fabric junk journal start to finish project. So in this particular video, we are going to bind the signatures into the book and we are going to utilize a button decoration on the outside of the cover. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when we start to create page layouts and ephemera for this journal. So this is how far we've gotten thus far. We have put the cover together. We have created the signature covers, created the signatures, put all the papers into the signatures, decorated the inside front and inside back cover and now it is time to bind the signatures into the book. So I'm just flipping through the first signature making sure that everything is aligned the way I want it to. I think I wound up with about 13 pages in the signatures which is a little heftier than I wanted but I can't think of anything I'd like to pull out so we are going to go with that. And I'm just making sure the placement is as I want and that everything is from top to bottom kind of centered if it is smaller than the nine inches. So I have everything where I want it. I'm going to secure it with a binder clip. And now I am going to get the embroidery thread that I'm going to bind this with. And I'm going to measure it four times the width. I know you just saw three there, but I decided on four and I did it subsequent, subsequently in four. Just to give me a little extra room for the buttons. Plus, I'm not sure if I want to dangle something off the end on the, the threads. So I want to have some options. So I went with a little extra. Now I have my little awl or pokey tool and I'm going to get that out and measure the midway point or the half point and put myself a little pencil dot there. And I'm going to come in about 12 centimeters or a half inch from each end and put myself a little pencil dot there. I'm going to poke the hole through the signature, just making sure I'm in line and that we're coming through at the right place. And getting that ready to accept that needle or to accept a needle. Okay, so I have everything where I want it. I'm going to pull the book out and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the exact same measurements. I'm going to do exact center and about a half inch up from each end. Both my signature cover paper was cut in nine inches. And this book is nine inches. So that puts us pretty much in line. I'm going to poke those holes and use my ruler to ensure that I get them in a straight line. And now we are ready to bind that first signature in. There's the four. Yeah, I measured it twice. I told you I was going to come back and do lengths of four. So I'm going to thread that needle and go through the center hole on the inside of the signature and through the back. And then I will come back in on the top of the book. But before I do that, I am going to thread three buttons 
onto that needle and put them into place where I want them on the back of this book. Now we will have time to move those around, but I just kind of want to get my placement where I would like for it to be. So now we have the three buttons on. We'll go back in to the inside of the book, come through back to the center hole, but I want to make sure we have enough thread and I want to make sure that those buttons are securely in place. So I'm just pulling a little more of that thread up, positioning my buttons. And I let my needle slip off of that thread. So I'm going to thread that back up and go back through that center hole. Position my buttons once again. And now we'll go from the outside to the inside. But we're going to thread three more buttons. So we have three from the center hole up to the top, and now we're going to have three buttons from the center hole down to the bottom. Pouring more buttons out. There's some buttons here that my needle will not fit through and some buttons that it will. So I'm trying to kind of eyeball one that has the holes the size that I know that needle's going to fit through. So there we have that third button. And now through that bottom hole from the outside in. And this time I kind of brought it through the cover and then grabbed the signature. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing my buttons or my button placement. I have my buttons back in place and now I'm going to securely tie that in a square knot. And that completes that signature. It is sewn in and the buttons are in place on the back of that spine and I think that creates a really interesting look for this book and we'll use some buttons throughout the ephemera in the in the book to kind of pull that in so I'm just going to mark the next placement and we will sew that second signature in so we're going to do the same thing we're going to make sure all of our Pages are in place where we want them. Get everything kind of centered. Binder clip it off. Get out the ruler and mark those spots. Create the holes. Now you can use your crocodile for this. I have just found that the crepidile makes it a little more difficult for me to line it up and the awl is a lot easier in my my opinion. The crepidile has a lot of great uses. Poking the holes in the cover and poking the holes in the signatures are not one of them in my opinion. I found that when I was using the crepidile to poke the holes in my spine I was getting uneven binding or my threads on my cover were jagged and I like them to be in a straight line and therefore I started using the awl and it does work significantly better for me. 
So we went through the center hole. We're going to thread our buttons on. Speed this up a little bit from the first one, but I do want to just illustrate it twice. And we're going to go back from the outside in, back through the cover, and then picking up that signature, getting the buttons into place, and then coming back from the inside out through the, the center, threading the buttons once again. And now I'm just making sure I have plenty of thread left. Kind of tightening up that thread a little bit, pulling it to make sure I have enough to work with. There we go. Now threading the three additional buttons on. And we'll go from the outside in and tie that off in the center with a square knot. Lining those buttons up before we get it tightened up. One last square knot. And there. You have it. So we are complete with getting the signature sewn in, and we have a nice little button presentation on the spine. Now, I did notice I sewed that first signature in upside down. Pay attention to placement. I'm going to go have to go back and take that signature out, flip it around, and sew it back in. But I shall do that before the next video, and we will have everything going in the right direction. This is the journal that I will be giving away when it is completed. So it is being given as a prize on my Facebook group. Come on over and join us at Two Old Crows Mixed Media. And please hit that subscribe button. We will be completing the ephemera and page layouts as we move forward, and I hope you will join me. I appreciate you being here. appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Bye for now.